So how do you sound treat a room so it doesn't, well, sound like this with all that horrible reverb or echo? Let's talk about that. What's up guys, I'm Jay Diaz and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm looking to minimize the echo or reverb that you're currently hearing. It just doesn't sound good at all. So I'm gonna be placing some acoustic panels on the walls to help reduce some of that reverb. Some of you may be thinking, well, what about the equipment you're using? I am using the Rode NTG2 condenser shotgun microphone and it's hooked up to the Zoom H6 preamp, so no. There is nothing wrong with the equipment. It's just the empty room that is the problem. You can have the best audio gear in the world, but if the room is not sound treated, then the sound will be horrible regardless. There is no furniture in here except the table and some lights and photography equipment, and nothing on the walls to help absorb the sound frequencies. Because of this, sound easily bounces all over the place, which is what causes the reverb. I know. That reverb sounds pretty annoying, so let's just get right to the point and fast forward so I won't bore you with the installation part. I'm going to attempt to sound treat the room the best way I can using these sound panels I purchased from Amazon. The ones I bought specifically are 12x12 12 12 in size with a 2 inch thickness and are made of foam, which is good for absorbing sound frequencies. They cost me about 65 bucks for a pack of 24 panels, but they have many different ones and sizes to choose from. Based on my research, they say that the thicker the panel, the more sound it can absorb, which is ideal. Many artists such as musicians, voiceover actors, and even YouTubers use some kind of sound absorber to help reduce the reverb in their studio space. So what is reverb? It's short for reverberation, which is basically a large number of reflected sound that bounces off surfaces in the room numerous times until the reflection of the sound wave dies off. Okay, so now that I have the panels on the walls, let's do a sound test to compare. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. I'm Jay Diaz and this is my YouTube channel. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. I'm Jay Diaz and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I can definitely hear a difference. It's not perfect, but I can still do a few other things to reduce that reverb just a little bit more. Now I could have purchased some bass traps to further help reduce the reverb, but these panels could get pretty expensive and I wanted to see what I can do with just these 24 panels. I can always hang a thick blanket or place a rug on the floor if needed, but since I don't currently have a piece of rug, I'll be placing a thick blanket on the floor as a temporary solution and for the sake of testing to see if this will help. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. I'm Jay Diaz and welcome to my YouTube channel. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. I'm Jay Diaz and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the sound is definitely a little bit better, but I think you guys get the point. You just have to figure out what types of items can help with absorbing the sound and where to place those items. And yes, sound can also reflect from the floor and from the ceiling. There are ways to treat that as well, but I'm not gonna go that crazy since I'm not a musician or a voiceover actor that needs a room that is soundproofed. I just wanna reduce the reverb to the point where it's barely noticeable and not distracting. So to be clear, I'm not a professional installer of sound panels. I just wanna share with you some of the technical difficulties you may encounter if you're new to this and plan to start your own YouTube channel or podcast. I'm still figuring out the best way to position the panels in my own setup, so I may rearrange these panels later. Long story short, do what works for you and do your research. If you're looking to start YouTube or a podcast, you may not need to purchase acoustic panels, depending on how your studio is situated. You may have a room that has plenty of furniture and items hanging on the walls that already helps to absorb sound. So before investing in acoustic panels, do a sound test and go from there. If you thought this video was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. And if you have any ideas you can suggest or have questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.